I'm out for my day one of these little hoes and shit. But the um county jail, where I'm from, they got the glass divider. So, so I had can. bitches mm-hmm. play with their pussy and I'd beat off. Probably nut on a glass or something. Oh my god! Gross. Oh my Somebody god! Somebody clean it up. What else can you do? I feel, I feel so green because I never heard of somebody doing that. Wow! I feel you green. As- Few figures have emerged as electrifying and controversial, including Davon Daquan Bennett, also known as King Vaughn, and many others. Yeah, my nigga King Vaughn on our JoJo. We on our JoJo shit today. Stretch gang, guys. Don't roll, King Dave. But we'll focus on King Vaughn because he was not just a rapper, but a force that triggered threats in his ops. His music reflected his struggles in life, survival, and gang life. But tragically, his life was cut short in November 2020 when he was involved in a dispute with Quando Rondo's crew outside of the Monaco Hookah Lounge in Atlanta, Georgia, which later escalated into a gunfight, and King Vaughn was shot multiple times. He was taken to the hospital immediately after he was shot, but after a few hours, he died. Yet his legacy still lives and stirs debate and fascination. Hey, hey. For those who followed his career until his death, King Vaughn was not just an artist as we know him to be. He was also a symbol of the harsh realities faced by many in Chicago's South Side. There was a side of him that shocked the public, which we'll discuss in this video. Big line, that shit ain't cool. Oh no, they got this man running around. It's funny and shit, it's funny. Yeah, that shit funny as shit. That shit ain't funny, gang. It's man, cause it's like this. I don't know the nigga, gang. I don't give no fuck about the nigga 6 9 I don't know. But he told them all type of people, gang, and they, and they people locked up and shit, and, and, and his people, family members and shit. Um, Here, you'll see some of his intense street disputes down to the menace he did on social media. Mr. Bennett, can you all want to explain what happened? You refuse to give a statement? That's my thing right there. Mr. Bennett stating that he did not do anything. You'll see firsthand why he was loved by many and feared by others. This compilation captures everything he did when he was alive. Everything. Can I go home? It's Valentine's Day. You got the plate number since you got it on tape, man? In this way, because wait. Because y'all let me go for my Valentine's Day, man. We talked to one of the jails. Come on, just pass him. Come on, just pass him. Come on, just You don't want me? That's what I'm saying. What were you locked up for? A body and two and two. I'm sorry. Uh-huh. You want it, you're going to have it. It's him, King Vaughn, the man who lived by his own rules, for better or worse. This is not just a video. It's about understanding the environment that shaped them and the persona that made him a legend and a menace. During a live broadcast, King Vaughn was seen engaged in an unruly conduct while exploring the streets of Chicago. In this particular video, Vaughn was not solely engaged in self-filming. He was in the process of capturing footage of people walking while his focus was drawn on an overweight gentleman. He said, Big folks, I see big gang, yeah, speaking and move. Gotta see it my mom, Rod Wave, big sister looking up. Damn, look at big folks, fat tongue guy. In a video, King Vaughn was live throwing shade at Wooski in response to the incident where Wooski sustained a gunshot wound to the head. The incident took place on October 22nd, 2018, when Wooski was present at a funeral service for a fellow gang member at Bethlehem Star Missionary Baptist Church in the Inglewood neighborhood of Chicago due to their ongoing dispute. King Vaughn took to Instagram to publicly throw shade at Wooski. Nah, but for real, you know they try to make all the all the ugly motherfuckers seem like they super tough and shit, like they super gangster because he because he ugly and shit. And he got shot in his head, so now he's stupid, slow. They think that's savage. Shot in the head, that's that's goofy. You're goofy. That's my... It all began back in the days when Wooski was taking a walk on King Drive, which was his ops territory, and some black disciples members were standing outside. The police were also nearby, so nobody wanted to let off shots, since they would be traced. Instead of doing that, King Vaughn and Wooski walked up to each other and started throwing punches at each other. Other King Vaughn members also joined hands to fight their rivals. Since King Vaughn and his gang members wanted to do Wooski badly, more members jumped into the fight to attack Wooski. But eventually, the police intervened and broke everything up. A few years later, Vaughn went live on Instagram to troll Wooski about the fight. This bitch say she love Wooski. You don't even know no motherfucker Wooski. It's slow, uh. 
Hey, Wu's can't tell y'all I beat his ass one day. He ain't tell y'all that he too dumb. He remember I punched his ass. When Wooski was asked about the fights between him and Vaughn, his side of the story was totally different from King Vaughn's. When we walked in King's Drive and they was standing right there and the police and shit pulled up and they they thought they was just gonna stand right there. We got the whip in the ass. King Vaughn and Wooski are both Chicago-based rappers, but from different gangs, which made them rivals. This fight between the O Block and STL EBT factions was part of the broader Gangster Disciples and Black Disciples rivalry in Chicago. And from 65th, we not from 63rd. We hang on 64th, 65th, and King Drive. And on 63rd, over here, kind of to the left, they dirty and stuff. They be up there just doing stealing and doing all type of petty stuff. So we don't go up there with them because they be dirty. Sometimes King Vaughn, who is associated with O Block and the Black Disciples, often referenced and dissed members of the STL, EBT, and the Gangster Disciples in his music. Wooski, associated with STL, EBT, and the Gangster Disciples, similarly dissed O Block and its members, including King Vaughn, in his tracks. The beef has been a long time in the making. When Wooski was questioned about his reactions to Vaughn's disses in his songs, Wooski's response was just cold and short. What do you think when you hear his songs and him name-dropping you and everything? Man, it's, it's a fuck. I don't. That should be funny to me. On October 27th, 2020, King Vaughn took to Instagram Live and showed a wild moment where he stuck his middle finger at police officers. Hey, hey. The rapper, renowned for his candid and unfiltered social media presence, utilized the platform to express his strong resistance towards law enforcement an attitude that was frequently seen in his lyrical songs and public comments. The next footage happened in 2017, and it was like King Vaughn's wild behavior always put him in trouble as he was in prison, and he was involved in yet another fight. The CCTV camera captured Vaughn going straight to another inmate and saying something to him. And then walked back to where he was and moved towards another inmate where he started throwing punches at him. It was so bad that the other inmates stood and did not help. Even though they decided to help out, they couldn't do anything since they were all still in cuffs, but King Vaughn somehow managed to pull off his own cuffs. However, one inmate seemed to be trying to kick the door open to help out until the police came to stop everything. Everything was captured on the CCTV camera, and even the body cam footage of an officer who arrived at the scene to question King Vaughn. Ten, ten, holy. Oh, you good? Okay. You're driving to that, uh, Okay, get him. Take, take him down there, then. As the officer arrived at the scene, Vaughn was asked what happened. And as we know, Vaughn is always capable of refusing to blame himself. Instead, he would blame his victim. What happened? What happened, man? What happened? Spit on my face, man. Just now? <laughs> then he was asked how he got out of his cuffs. How'd you get out of your cuffs? How'd you get out of your cuffs? You know what, how'd you get out of your cuffs? Thought I was still in. You thought you were still in them? You he was asked repeatedly, but King Vaughn refused to give a correct statement on how he got out of his cuffs. It's no news that King Vaughn's social media activity often showcased his street lifestyle and many other acts. Hence, the Instagram live video with Lil Brudda was no exception because he was live displaying firearms. I was had another head so I could be drinking while I'm good. <laughs> Oh, BD. That bitch is really boring. <laughs> like many others, this video sparked significant attention and concern from his fans and the general public, reflecting the dangerous realities it would cause others. But Vaughn never cared or worried about that. Um, oh, I ain't playing with you, boy. You coming on funny. You look high. Ah, you can't oh, look, look that, crazy. That, all that. That's yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, you playing? Hey, you, you on a plate? Now, what you just say? Say what you just said. Say that I'm you just... Another minutes happened during an Instagram live session. King Vaughn played NBA Youngboy's music, which many interpreted as a trolling move. Fans and some media headlines perceived this act as a way to provoke or mock NBA Youngboy. The live session showed Vaughn listening to tracks, making facial expressions and comments in ways that seemed to suggest a playful jab at NBA Youngboy. Fuck Youngboy talking about on this song, bro. What? 
You talking crazy on this man. Oh, yeah? He ain't even like that. Oh! On his ass, man. On his ass. All that cap. You got cap in your raps. The live session quickly went viral, with fans from both sides commenting. While some saw it as harmless fun, others believed it was a deliberate provocation from King Vaughn to NBA Youngboy. This incident added fuel to the ongoing rumors of a feud between the two rappers. The incident where King Vaughn pressed Lil Reese over sneak dissing unfolded on Instagram Live. Yeah. Um, oh, I ain't playing with you, boy. You tell me I'm funny. You look, ah, you keep oh, look, 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 crazy, all that. that. That's he, so yeah, oh, yeah. Hey, you playing? Hey, you see you on the plate? Now, what you just say? Say what you just said. Say that I'm saying, damn. Say no, I'm saying, say it how so you, you said it, too. Me, right? Say it, say it just how you wrote it. Now, what you just so say? you don't fuck with me, right? No, I'm Damn, what you just say though? See how you said it? How you I'm saying, damn, guys, we got to tell the outside of the game. Let me see that. He's right up. Who are we getting rid of? What about me? You don't want to talk to me? Nah, you good, Bello. Where we see that? Uh, right here. Reese. Why do I still tell him a lot, man? Reese, y'all way over there, man. Tell this bitch that. He right here. Uh, <laughs> Where he at? Get reach to the phone. Get your bitch ass on the phone. You, hey, you sneak this man, or what? what you, want, you sneak this? What? what? They trying to hang up, man. Trying to hang up. What? What? During the session, Vaughn was on live demanding for Reese to get on live with him about how he felt about the diss Reese made straight to him. King Vaughn's approach was straightforward, emphasizing the need for transparency and direct communication to resolve any underlying tensions. This live session showcased Vaughn's commitment to addressing conflicts head-on rather than allowing misunderstandings to play off by settling his dispute with Reese. On February 5th, 2019, in the early hours of the morning, King Vaughn and his close associates engaged in a dispute outside a well-known restaurant located in Atlanta. The individuals involved engaged in a heated dispute with an individual identified as Alexander Witherspoon, who had links with the Vice Lord's gang. Then... The verbal dispute escalated, resulting in the discharge of a total of 13 gunshots. Alexander Witherspoon was observed to have been hit by the bullet, but law enforcement knew everything that had happened that day, but waited for the right time to get a hold of King Vaughn and his crew. Three months later, King Vaughn was scheduled to perform at a concert in Chicago. The police knew that King Vaughn would be paying a visit back to his old neighborhood, the Old Block. A massive swarm of police officers raided the block, and he was held down. Stay on the ground. Stay on the ground. Give me a little hand. Gang, what Just don't resist. Don't resist. Gang, why y'all grab me with them? You think you're disrespectful? I don't respect you. Y'all slam me, bro. Stop it. They slam me. You've dealt with worse. Stop it. 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 Damn, what the fuck you doing, Spada? Oh, folks too fat. You gotta learn how to walk and shit. You fat as hell. Vaughn's criminal record comprised severe charges, including attempted murder, leading to a substantial period of jail time. His involvement in violent incidents, both as a perpetrator and a victim, underscored his turbulent life. These activities were often highlighted in his music blurring the lines between his artistic persona and real-life actions. Vaughn gained a reputation for his confrontational behavior on social media. The individual in question regularly shared video content and live broadcasts in which he prominently displayed firearms, engaged in provocative behavior towards adversaries, and discussed gang-related matters. This online presence not only entertained his followers, but also perpetuated his image as a dangerous and volatile individual. Vaughn's public feuds with other rappers, including NBA Youngboy and FBG Duck, further fueled his menacing reputation. These rivalries often led to violent confrontations, contributing to the ongoing cycle of violence within the hip-hop community. His death in a shootout outside an Atlanta nightclub on November 6, 2020, was a tragic event, and even to death, his legacy still lives. Long live King Vaughn. What do you think about the menace Vaughn had caused when he was alive? Let us know in the comment section below. See you in the next video.